this is the episode you've all been waiting for. The trade deadline last week. Horrible. Um, if you want to watch gameplay of what not to do, go watch last week because it was just brutal. With that being said, we got some guys to trade. And we're going to waste no time. We're hopping right into it to the trade center. First thing I want to do, I was doing some looking around before hopping on. Malik Willis, I want to be the quarterback for the rest of this year. I'm not giving up picks. Chase Edmonds and Zion McCollum are interesting. I'm going to give Matt Filer, right tackle, 74 overall. He's not coming back next year. I'm not paying him. We're going to do a straight swap. Malik Willis, welcome to the team. Malik Willis will now be our starting quarterback for week eight against the Buffalo Bills. As I have just had enough, and he's not even on the team. As I've had enough of Baker Mayfield, I can't keep putting up with his antics. Um... Yeah, I, I, I can't keep doing it. So Malik Willis is going to get the nod. Um, this defense is about to look a whole lot different. <laughs> and uh, first things first, it's going to start with Levante David. We're going to trade Baker Mayfield to the Colts for Jelani Woods. He's 24 years old, but he has star development, which is huge. That trade is done. So now we have a star development tight end with three years left that's going to start for us i really like that trade for us um and yeah there's still a lot of guys to go just trying to see what's the best route possible with these guys all right we're gonna make a pretty big trade here levante david is going to get traded as well as greg Gaines to the vikings for lewis scene and a second. However, I want that second to be this year because they're pretty bad this year. So I want to see if I can get Lewis Seen and a second this year. Trade is declined. What if I take away Lewis Seen and say you give us a second round pick and also give us Andrew Booth Jr.? I don't understand why it keeps doing that. That's just, it's, it's not like letting me even make trades. All right, we're going to be trading Greg Gaines a sixth and a seventh to the Buck or to the Broncos for Montreal Washington and a fifth round pick this year, essentially just dumping salary while also moving up two rounds in the draft. That trade is now done. All right, we're going to be making this trade. We are going to be trading Levante David to the Raiders for Jacoby Myers and a second round pick this year. I really wanted this one, but. I don't want a third. I think a second round pick is more realistic. Levante David has officially been traded from the Bucks. It is an end of an era. All right, so we're going to do this trade here. It's going to be Russell Gage and Chase Edmonds for Marcus Cannon, but more importantly, we get a fourth round pick out of this. All right, and here we're going to be trading Ryan Neal to the Jags for Chad Muma and a fifth round pick this year, as well as a seventh round pick next year. All right, so we're going to actually go out here in free agency, and we're going to sign Zach Koontz to be a backup tight end for us. All right, it's a big one. Devin White is going to be traded for Cesar Ruiz, a fifth next and a seventh the following year. That trade is now done. We need a quarterback mentor, so we're going to go out there and get Joe Flacco. We're going to go out there and get Janoris Jenkins as a mentor corner. And we're going to sign LaMarcus Joyner to play strong safety. All right, so this is what the new look offense is going to be like. Malik Willis. At quarterback, Jacoby Myers now playing the third receiver spot. Cesar Ruiz as right guard. Jelani Woods as tight end. Defensively, Chad Muma and Yaya Diabe will be our linebackers. Senate will also be our DT now. And we signed the Mar Marcus Joyner as a bridge player. Um, specialist Jenkins in the slot. Um, Eds, Joe Tryon, Shaq, Vitavea, Logan Hall, Chad Muma, and Dennis. Yeah, teams drastically different now, but something had to be done. And these, I believe, are the moves that we are going to make at the trade deadline this year. All right, I lied. We're making one more move. Mike Evans is going to be sent to the Chicago Bears for Jaquan Brisker, a third this year and a fourth this year. A very big trade. Did it even go through? 
It did. It did. And our wide receiving core is looking very different. Strong safeties looking very different. But we make that move. And Mike Evans is officially gone. All right, so this is officially what the team is going to be like. Finally, Chris Godwin, Jacoby Myers, and Russell Gage as our White House. Malik Willis as our QB. Our line worse, Cody, Ryan Jensen, Cesar Ruiz, Robert Hainsey, tight end Jelani Woods, and Zach Koontz. Defensively, Antoine Winfield, Joe Tryon, Joe Muma, Yaya Diaby, and Jaquan Brisker. Corners, Carlton Davis, and Jamel Dean. And our D-line, Khalil Kansi, Vita Vea, Senate, and Shaq Barrett. Specialist. Not much changes here, mainly our linebackers as well as our rush ends. But that is going to do it for the trade deadline episode. A lot of stuff happened, but, you know, I think it was stuff that we had to do. Looking at the picks that we now have, we have a lot. We have a first, two seconds, two thirds, two fourths, two fifths, and then a bunch of picks the following years. Like I said, we didn't get a first out of anything, but we got, you know, picks as well as young players in some of those picks. And really, that's all you can ask for. If you do want to just kind of check out our trades that we make, I'm just going to slowly go through here. You can pause at any moment and look at them. And these are all the moves that we made. It's a lot of them. But... Had to be done as we head into the second half of the year, basically. We're still an 83 overall, which is impressive. But a ton of money freed up, as well as draft capital for the future. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.